What's up guys, this is Sunny back with another video and today real quick guys I'd like to show you guys how to install Kyric M9i cooler uh, to a B350 motherboard or X370 motherboard. Now the motherboard I have here Asus Prime B350 M motherboard. Uh, by the way, it's one of the best motherboard for $69.99 and I managed to overclock my Ryzen 1300X although up to uh, 4.1 gigahertz but I had a liquid cooler on but what I like to see how far can I go with Kyric M9i uh, so uh, with this same cooler I managed to overclock my uh, IFF 6600K to 4.4 gigahertz so I have a pretty good feeling that um, I'll get a pretty good temperature out of uh, Ryzen 1300X uh, with this cooler so Today basically guys I'll show you guys how to install Kyric M9i cooler doesn't matter if you have the uh, Intel variant or AMD variant uh, the M4 bracket should work on uh, both of the version and uh, I have the stock cooler on I just took the stock cooler off and the stock cooler was a uh, pretty good the one comes with the uh, Ryzen uh, 1300X. I managed to overclock the Ryzen 1300X with the stock AMD uh, cooler uh, all the way up to uh, 3.8 GHz and the temperature was looking pretty good but uh, I couldn't overclock the CPU all the way up to like uh, 4 GHz. So that's the reason I'm going with the M9i cooler and part 2 of the video guys I'll show you guys the temps and everything. So let's just go on and install uh, the cooler. So as you guys can see the upgrade kit right here. So let's open. I already opened it. Um, all right. So all we basically need from the upgrade kit uh, comes with the bracket. Oh, hope I don't drop. Okay. So it comes with the bracket. As you guys can see, you can use this bracket with. Um, let me see. You can use this bracket with. Uh, R1 uh, Universal, Kyric R1 Universal, uh, and then uh, H5 Universal, uh, C1, and M9A. So M9A basically the AMD version of the uh, M9i uh, cooler, and then uh, the one comes with M9i basically for the Intel. But the bracket works with the Intel and the AMD version of the Kyric M9i. So it does come with the bracket, all right, and then. That comes with the pillars. So, if you already have a M9i cooler laying around, you know, and you purchased before the Ryzen was released, all you have to do is just go to Newegg and purchase uh, the MD upgrade kit for the M4 bracket, uh, and it's around like five, five ninety nine, including shipping and stuff. So, first thing what we will do, we'll just install the pillars. All right. So just this. Now the motherboard we are using right now, uh, Asus Prime B three hundred and fifty M M motherboard, and it's a like perfect budget motherboard if you guys are out in the market for a budget a B350 motherboard with this motherboard I managed to overclock uh, the uh, overclock uh, the CPU to all the way up to 4.1 gigahertz I believe but I had a liquid cooler on so uh, I hope that we can overclock uh, the Ryzen 1300X to 4 gigahertz with the M9i cooler but you have to stay tuned for the part 2 of this video so I can show you guys Okay, so real quick, um, I'll use some uh, ice pro alcohol, as you guys can see, because I just want to make sure uh, the surface is clean. You can use a uh, napkin or coffee filter is better, like for uh, toilet paper, but. I do recommend uh, I do recommend a coffee filter definitely better for this demonstration we'll just use napkin all right and make sure you have thermal paste laying around okay so I'm using uh, Arctic uh, MX4 as you guys can see I don't know if you guys can see right here, okay? I use MX4 for all my build, so 
you know, you should definitely go with the MX4. Take the fan off the cooler. Alright, so it's a little tricky. Tricky. Alright, so see if the fan is off. Let's, uh, we can leave this here, right? So we have the fan off. And then after you install the pillar to install the bracket. So bracket you just line up. That should be it and then put this nuts on right tie it up it's really simple guys really simple comes with the bracket and the screw pillars and that. So make sure you have to just make sure just make sure the screws are all lined up and then you should start tying. Now we just install the fan. Okay, one side at a time. So let's connect. All right, and then we just connect the fan to the fan header, and as simple as that. So guys, um. Stay tuned for the part 2 of the video and uh, so you guys could see like the temperature and, and everything and that should be it for today and I personally think the cooler looks really really nice uh, let me just as you guys can see just zoom in a little bit for you guys so, so as you guys can see the cooler looks really nice okay right there all right guys so that should be it uh, if you have any other question leave in the comment below and stay tuned for the part two of this video and see you next time peace